Then you have the struts, and the struts are the rigid connectors that fix the wings to the main body of the plane. And those are kind of like ligaments. They don't generate any movement, but they hold the structure together under load. Now, if the fuselage, which I'm sitting in now, or if the wing starts to warp or shape differently because of a control failure or a malfunction in a hydraulic actuator, those struts will become stressed in a way that they weren't designed for. So if we start to have those struts get stressed, which is kind of like the ligaments, because we lost our curvature or our alignment, or there's wear and tear on tendons, which are kind of like those uh, hydraulic actuators that I'm going to explain in a little bit, then we get abnormal force going into the struts or the foundational ligamentous component of our body or of the plane. So those are the last defense that normally the ligament has force that's distributed or the strut is distributed equally. But when we lose our curvature or our alignment, or we have a wear down and breakdown in our connective tissue, like our tendons, then the struts or the ligaments take all the burden. Now let's look at the control surfaces on this airplane. So we have the elevator, which woo, makes us go up or down. 